Well, hello, and welcome back to the Payne's Creek Killings. So, yes, we are outside the uh, Anne's Courtyard Inn and Suites, and uh, this is pretty well exactly where we left off. Now, I've reviewed the footage from the last episode. I've got some notes. I've tried to keep track of a few things. One of the things that uh, people said, hey, uh, psst, you should look in the... Uh, it's locked. How do I unlock it? Uh, is there, can I open this door? No. <laughs> oh, how about this? Um, oh, unlock. How about that? Okay. I use, aha. I'm looking for keys. Are there any car keys? I think I need his car keys. Oh, look at that. There's a there's like a bloody handprint there. How, can I use the Slim Jim on this? No, it doesn't work. All right. Well, I guess I need car keys. So I'm going to need Stephen Moss's car keys. Now, uh, here's the interesting thing. And I wanted to bring this up because so Stephen Moss, he... Um, he came here in 1997, five years after the killings. His car is still here. What happened to Stephen Moss? Huh? <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> All right, so, oh, before we go anywhere here, let's, uh, I want to go in here because there's one thing that we wanted to, it was in the last episode that I just want to quickly uh, double check. And essentially, uh, it's, it's how I, the, the photographer, uh, there was the address to the photographer, and uh, why that's important is because of a note. It was, uh, oh no, it was on, it was here. Hi, uh, this is Oliver Gibson. I just wanted to thank you for letting me borrow your toolbox and shovel. Uh, I'm currently out of town for a few days, and I didn't get the chance to return it yet. <clears throat> in the case you need them, it's currently sitting in my photo lab. Uh, ask Mrs. Patterson for my spare key. Aha! So there you go. So uh, that's, uh, that, that yes, that's why it's important to know where, oh, hang on, I'm going this way, uh, where the photographer place is. Because eventually I'm, I'm assuming that, that we're going to have to go and, and take a look uh, up there. Now, um, there's a few other things that uh, I, I was given a, a, some pointers on. Uh, one of them was, uh, let's see now. Okay, we can't get, this was this one here. And we can't get in there. That's really annoying. Yeah, there's no, I can't. Yeah, I can't get into, so we, we're going to have to find his keys at some point, And then he's going to, we're going to be able, based on that, to uh, to get into his glove box. And maybe there's something important in there. Oh, boy. Um, okay, now back at the church. Let's see. This is the uh, the uh, Trinity Church. Yeah, okay. And uh, there is... I was given a little bit of a, a hint that uh, perhaps I should look at that picture of uh, the pastor and Scott uh, a little more closely, specifically on the back. So we're going to go take a look at it. I only looked at... I remember I looked in the footage, and I was like, oh, I only looked at the... Uh, is it up here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. It's, there's the office. I only looked at the front. I never looked at the back. I think it's this one. No. There it is. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Is it supposed to be in the back of the picture of this picture here? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Maybe it's a different picture? Somebody mentioned a picture. All right, let's just keep looking. Uh, tools in the back of the store. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's close that up. Okay. No. And... Okay. Um, hmm. A photo of the of uh, the pastor. 
That looks like it's probably him. Well, now I'm confused. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't really know. Uh, some dates marked on the calendar. Okay. Uh, how about uh, 722? All right. I'm going to... I'm not sure. Uh, oh, no. That's not 722. That's... Mm. Um, see, this is red. Oh, that's red because it's Saturday, Sunday. Uh, 1222? Did I do that one before? 12. And then 22. No. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, see, that, as I say, I thought that at, back then I thought that was too young or too, too new. It's too current. Like that code would have been from a historic thing. So there's only one other thing that I can think to do, and that's to go take a look and see. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Is, okay. Yeah, it's not behind this one. So I'm thinking there is another picture. And is it not? I think it's in Scott's room. And was it in here? No. Could have sworn there was another picture in one of these. Hmm. No. Huh. Well, I'm a little confused. Confusled now. Oh man. All right. Let's put that away. Hmm. Yeah. See, we checked all this already. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to come back to that. Obviously, I'm missing something. Uh, it, apparently, yeah, I was supposed to check at the back of a picture for that code. Wait a minute. What's, oh yeah, well, no, that's, that's that picture. And I can't look at that one. Uh, there are some dates marked on the calendar. Hmm. So 93, this is quite a, this is quite a bit before the murders actually. So he must have moved out of this a couple of years before the killings. Right, and because he was living in the cabin, so this was his child home, child home, uh, ch childhood, childhood home. So this is kind of interesting. Yeah, well, I don't really see any. Oh, wait a minute. No. Okay. Well, hmm. I don't see any other pictures. Now let me just here. Let's let's just review. There's that picture that that has the the the, uh, uh, the secret lies with her written on the back of it, and oh, I didn't take any. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what? Let me. Um, no, not you. It's it's a. Uh, oh my goodness! The targeting. Pick up. Okay, and then there we go. Picture of Scott, uh, Matthew and Scott years ago. So I have, there's one thing here. That, is there anything on the edges? No. Okay. So how about this? How about this? We know that uh, if we take a look at, uh, let's see here, the diary. We've got, uh, where is it? Um, Scott's diary. We've got his first diary. It says that on April 6, 1985... He picked him up from the orphanage. So there you go. April 6, 1985. Uh, 1, 1985. No. Okay. How about uh, 85? April is uh, January, February, March, April. That's 0, 4, 6. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to have to review that one later. <laughs> we're going to have to come back to that. But in the meantime, those are just the, those are some of the loose ends that that were uh, that we had. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to we're going to we do have some definites. We we know what the security code is for the mansion, and we know what the security code is for the the backyard uh, the where they used to meet Trisha and Scott used to meet for their little uh, meeting place. And uh, <laughs> it was funny. Somebody said why don't you use the Slim Jim on that car? And I'm like, um, sure, okay. This one, the red car here. I will. 
I don't I don't know if there's anything in here, but why not? Let's just use it. Okay, so unlock. And I don't really see anything interesting in here. Do, 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 do. And Yeah. That one's still locked. So <laughs> Oh. Is this the cemetery? Um. Oh, there it is. 1131. Oh, I already unlocked it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I... Did I unlock it? I must have unlocked it. Oh. That's locked. It actually requires a key. Oh, that's not the house key, though, that I have. Okay. Wow, okay, wow. So we could actually check out all the different people. Gary Roberts. So, uh, Roberts. Hen this place is Wanda Tyler, 1996. Henry Johnson. Who else we got here? Christopher Burke. Timothy uh, Sanders, Andrew Reed, 1995. Oh, this place is, I'm telling you, this place is, it's, it's spooking me out is what it is. <laughs> I'm getting all spooked out. Uh, Sarah Goldberg, and then we've got uh, Ian Goldberg. Okay, and then we've got John, Jonathan Hopkins, Victoria, Jesse. Okay, I thought I saw writing. Marissa Young. I'm just seeing if we recognize any. This is fresh flowers. Who is this? Those flowers would have had to have been placed here within the last, like, what, few days? Look at them. They're fresh. Oh. Now, who's this right here? Philip Young, Calvin Bennett. Is there any clue here? Oh. That is actually really cool. That's, that is interesting. So somebody's got, there's an unmarked grave, and somebody's been maintaining that unmarked grave. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. Now, what is this special one over here? Magdalene Roberts, 1975. Magdalene Roberts. So that, is that the, uh, is that Charles Roberts' mother? Yes, it is, actually. I remember um, I took notes, and I think one of the notes was, hang on a minute, um, 1975. Yes, uh, Charles Roberts' mother died on August 27th of, uh, no, no. Yeah, 1975, in 1975. It was uh, based in, there was a diary. So that is, uh, that's the mother, Magdalene. I wonder if that's the picture of the lady in with the uh, the that's her picture in the uh, in the gallery. Mm. All right, that was just a little aside. Um, not sure. We might, we're probably going to have to come back there in the future. Now, let's see. How do I get back up at the uh, uh, Pain Street map? I, what I want to do? I'm at the church. So I, I want to turn right out of the church, go up the... Okay. Um, and then go up, turn right here. Okay. I think I go this way. And then we're going to go up to the... Uh, uh, we're going to go back up to the mansion because there's a bunch of unfinished business up at the mansion. Yeah, I don't... See, a lot of these... Oh, this is... Oh, okay. A lot of these cars, they don't have anything in them. We'll, we may uh, check them out later. I think it was... Uh, <clears throat> that one car had like stuff plainly open and visible on the uh what street is this maple maple yeah this is it uh was plainly visible on the seat which is uh yeah that so that that's why you wanted a slim gym was to open that up um uh, yeah okay let's keep going now the first thing i want to do is check out the security room uh and now the, the code for the uh, security room entry 
is uh, in the PI's diary. It's the last page in the, the P private investigator's diary. So, yeah. Okay. So we're going to do that first. Okay, come on. That's it. Keep going. And then there's a that we could check out the uh, uh, the the what you call it in the backyard, the store, the shed. Uh, oh, the, I left that door open. I think <laughs> actually I don't remember if I did or not. And okay, let's go up here. Um, that's not it. Now the security room. I think it's down here. Is that that's it right there? There's a security room. There's a security room. Okay, and then the security, I have it, oh, well, actually, here, just for completeness, uh, let's go into Stephen Moss's diary, and we go to the last page. It's uh, 025241. Okay, uh, 025241. Aha! Hey, I actually know what that lock is. That's a Slage, uh, slage lock, uh, made by Slage. I know. <laughs> I've seen them. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Okay. Oh, these are the these are keys to the different rooms. Now, if I take the tea room key and I look in my inventory, does it say? No, that's that's just it doesn't tell me. So that's the tea room. I'll come back and you know what? We're gonna come back and get those. Oh, there's a tape. Oh, but we can't look in it. Is there a light switch? Aha! Aha! Okay, so we're going to look in the tea room first. And what do we got here? We can't go in there. All right, that's cool. Oh! It's a security desk logbook. Okay, so 94. Someone ran through the garden last night. A man about 5'5", five five wearing a hooded sweater, climbed the fence wall into the garden. He proceeded to run to the backyard and jumped over the back wall. Okay... Uh, that's 1994. That's a year before, so that's okay. A new stack of VHS tapes has arrived. Please use the new tapes instead of recording over the existing ones. All right. I came across a note by Magdalene Roberts. Okay, so that's Charles's mother. Stuck between one of the old logbooks. It was requesting the search of a missing security tape uh, dated June 28, 1975. It seems the tape was never find. found. Now, here's an interesting thing. In 1975, did they have security tape? I don't think they did. <laughs> uh, maybe they did. It would have been film back at, at that point, I think. So, um, anyways, so it was research of mis uh, data June 28th of 75. So, June 28th of 1975. Now, that was the year that Magdalene died right it seems the tape was never found so something happened on june the 28th of 1975 okay uh we have a new security guard coming in today his name is samuel green tom parker will be his mentor to get him up to speed that's in 94 andrew came to the mansion at around 11 p.m he was very drunk scott was called so scott look he's he's basically been yeah it's, someone mentioned uh scott looks after andrew he arrived at about at around 11 15 and brought andrew home Interesting. So Scott sort of looks after Andrew. We've heard that before. Uh, that's in 94. Today marks the Tom Parker's 20th year since he started working at the mansion. He will be retiring from his position next month to take care of his ailing wife. Oh. <clears throat> There's a strange tale going around Prains Creek recently. Stephanie, a six-year-old girl, got lost during Halloween. Apparently, she followed some fireflies in the woods and cannot get back home her parents called the sheriff they conducted a search but could not find her two hours later stephanie got home safe and sound when asked how she found her way back stephanie said a young lady found her crying and brought her back she didn't know the lady's name but remembered her being pretty and having long black hair we've seen her that's sophia i think it's sophia now this is uh 94 so this is this is like um okay okay uh, she was wearing a black dress similar to what the mansion maids wear at work. Oh. The strange thing is that when I asked around, all the maids said they were working that evening. In other words, that's a... Well, we don't know what that... And that's it. That's the end of that one. Oh, the plot thickens. The plot thickens. Okay. Nothing. All right. We got security tapes that we can't look at, although I think that would be kind of... 
yeah, in a video game, I think that would be kind of a tricky thing to do. You'd have to like scrub through, you know, all those tapes and everything, and there'd have to be archives of like, you know, six months of staring at empty tree lots and stuff like that. All right, so we've got the 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 one to the tea room. So let's take a no. We want to look in. Let's go to the tea room. Um, so the tea room is out the door and to the left on the other side of the stairs. This is the tea room. Okay, now so let's do that and then we'll unlock it. Uh, use. Aha! So it worked. Oh. Oh, let's take a look through here. Does anybody need a fork? I think the answer to that is no. Nothing. Can I close that? All right. And then we've got a clock. Now the clock is obviously stopped. It is stopped at uh, 4.45. Is that important, the time that this clock stopped? Whenever you see a stopped clock like that, it, it's also probably because it hasn't been wound or batteries haven't been replaced, but it could also be a clue. <laughs> oh. Vivian Roberts' diary. <gasps> um, oh, this is from 1972. Now, I did I did a little bit of uh, interpolating, interpolating, and... Um, she married Charles in 71. So there you go. So this is this is like in the first year of their mar after their marriage. Uh, Charles is running for election. I talked to Wilson and Edwards, and they have both agreed to support us. I don't think they are doing this solely to gain business benefits. Rather, they believe in Charles. Their support will help boost morale for our party. She's got lovely writing. Um, so this is in 1972. This is uh, uh, April, May, June. So this is a couple months later. It's our anniversary today. Yeah, see... All right, so there you go. She was born. Uh, she was um, not born. Married June thirtieth of nineteen seventy one. Uh, Charles invited me to my favorite restaurant. It was a, a complete surprise, and I was so happy. I thought he might have forgotten. After dinner, we spent the rest of the evening walking along the beach. We talked as if we were teenagers in love. I could not remember the last time I felt this carefree. Aw, Magdalene is coming. What should I do now? This is nineteen seventy two. This is the the Charles's mother. She's always asking when we'll be having kids. I don't think I'm ready yet. Not when I'm still recovering from the miscarriage. Oh. And poor. Hmm. Yes. Uh, Friday, October 13th of 1972. Edwards called today. Edwards called today and tried to push me in favor of a business agreement that we discussed months ago. Uh, I rejected his request since it will breach the trust agreement between our companies. Okay. I didn't expect him to threaten me by backing out from supporting Charles. If that if that'll happen, so be it. I would rather lose his support than make deals with people with no integrity. So, at least in 1972, she seemed to have a um, shred of uh, integrity, I guess. I mean, you know, she's talking about integrity. And, you know, she had a miscarriage and, yeah, okay. That's interesting. Now... This is a key with an exquisite design. Villas and mansions. This could be the attic. Is that the attic key? It might be the attic key. All right. So, uh, we got a pen. Uh, this is a, uh, yeah, none of those we can look at. Oh. Hate mail. Uh, I'm trying to examine. Oh, examine. How does it feel to ruin the lives of many? Costed me my job. Heartless witch, you don't deserve to live. Oh. That's, that's not very nice, people. We don't know. I don't know what she did to deserve that. Maybe she deserves it. I don't know. Oh, here we go. So this is investigation on Payne Creek Community Hospital donate. There was embezzlement, if you remember correctly. So this is from 1993, Nelson and Brown investigation. Uh, Dear Mrs. Vivian Roberts, our latest investigation shows that Dr. Henry Johnson has been embezzling funds from the Roberts Relief Foundation. Oh, he's a bad dude. He's sending a he he was he died in the lake. Remember, he's sending a portioned amount to an offshore private account under the name of Jefferson Investments, LLC. 
uh, every fifth of the month, an exact amount of nine. Th- that's that's just under the ten thousand dollars. It goes under the radar. Uh, is being transferred supposedly for the payment of medical supplies and equipment. However, neither the equipment nor the medical supplies could be accounted for. This has been going on for the past 16 months. As of now, the total amount embezzled is $160,000. That's from Roland Brown. Okay, that's been recorded. All right. So so it, it basically the doctor was embezzling. So the doctor's a bad dude. He, he he's, a, he's a naughty man. He's a, uh, Can I pull that down? No, okay. Oh, we've got uh, towels or something in there. I don't see anything else that's of any interest in here. Is there anything back there behind anything? Or we've got a nice painting. We've got a clock. A stop time. That might be important. You know what? Just because it might be important. There we go. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe there's some meaning there. Uh, oh. See, these old, they've got, like, secrets. They've got secrets in these buildings, these big buildings, right? Okay, so this is, uh, so that's the, um, that's the tea room. Now, at the other end of the house, I think, is it down here? Is this the attic um that doesn't work did i do that right okay so that's not that room okay well bummer all right back to the security room we go and then we've got uh the nanny's room okay we're saving trisha's for last because you know now where's the nanny's room the nanny's room uh There is no nanny's room. Oh, Dorothy might be the nanny. Is that across the, across the thing here? Maybe Dorothy's the nanny. Uh, Dorothy is the nanny. Okay, but there were no kids. All right. Well, gotta. Well, so the she was a she was a, a person of faith. She had faith, so that's interesting. Uh, did I just lock myself in here? No, okay. That might be important because there's a you know there's the priest. All right, and maybe uh, now. Oh no! Okay, okay. Okay, Dorothy and Trisha. Oh, isn't that sweet? They look very similar, by the way. So maybe um, maybe uh, Vivian had trouble having kids. I don't know. Okay. Uh, oh, the do- okay, let's take a look. Uh, 1994. I can't believe that Andrew tried to kill himself again. Oh, my God, Andrew. Thank God for Scott. I cannot imagine what would have happened if Scott wasn't there to save him. Andrew was never like this when Lara and Daniel were here. Okay. Even as his wife, I doubted Laura had any idea what Andrew turned out or why Andrew turned out this way. So, okay, there we go. So Andrew's wife was named Laura and Daniel, I guess, was his kid. I can't blame her for leaving him and taking her, their son. All right, so there you go, Daniel. She left and took Daniel. Um, I wonder if they've contacted each other since then. I visited Andrew at the hospital today. He seemed different. He looked calm, as if he had somehow managed to find peace within himself. They attended. Uh, the attending nurse said Scott had been here almost every day, taking care of him uh, and being with him. Uh, Andrew has been ta- talking a lot with Scott. Andrew told me he's uh, ready to see Laura and Daniel again. Okay, so Daniel is not uh, Scott, I, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm glad to hear that. I should t- call Laura and tell her the good news. So she's in contact with Laura. Scott came to fix my leaking sink today. He did a wonderful job. I offered him tea and we talked quite a bit, um, mostly about Charles and Vivian. Okay, 
I showed him my old photo album. To my surprise, Scott became very quiet. He asked if he could borrow one of the photographs. I don't see why not. He thanked me and left in a hurry. Oh. Oh, I should call Laura and tell her about Andrew's situation. That's interesting. Uh, it's ironic that Andrew died shortly after being... Oh. Yes, June. This is from the uh, after Andrew's death. Um, after being saved, I met Laura and Daniel at Andrew's funeral today. Daniel reminded me of Andrew. I can't believe he's already 15 years old. Last I saw him, he was only seven. Uh, Laura and Andrew had been sending them money these last few years. Uh, Laura said Andrew had been sending the money for the last few years. Uh, she had been consider considering t to return to Payne's Creek so they could be together again. If only I'd called Laura before the fire accident. I feel sorry for them. Oh. Okay, so some... Uh, uh, Scott saw something in an album. I can't open that one. Now, what's this? This is Dorothy. Uh, Dear Charles, this is from 1996. So this is after Vivian's death. I've worked here for more than 20 years. I'm so glad that I was able to spend time here with everyone. I greatly appreciate the opportunities you gave me and the time I spent with Trisha. Trisha was everything to me, and she loved me. She smiled whenever I called her. I wish I could have given her more. Despite what has happened here in Payne's Creek, there are moments of pure joy that we've shared together. I will hold on to these memories. I'm sorry that I'm leaving. I won't be able to say, serve you anymore. Thanks for everything. Please take care of yourself, Dorothy. And I think those are tears. So she was obviously very upset, and she left after Vivian died. <sighs> there we go. That one's been recorded. That's good. Okay, what do we got in here? Uh, oh, it's a bathroom. Okay, we'll take a look. Uh, let's take a look in here. Uh, we've got a thing. We got nothing in there. We got a toilet. I can't. I can't open the toilet or flush it, or take any of the toilet paper. Uh, now, I was able to open the other ones, but I don't think I can open that one. Nothing. 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 And... Oh. I'll turn the lights on, though. This is all... You know, we're just trying to save the planet here. Um, okay. We got another diary here. Can I open that? All right, let's take a look at this. Uh, 1972. Um, there's a newly hired maid named Sophia. <laughs> I think Matthew recommended her, saying that she's his cousin, Matthew's cousin. She's very pretty, has, a ve has very good manners. She's a quick learner, too, and does whatever she's told to do. She's very eager, asking a lot on what she should do. Now she should act when Charles, how she w should act when Charles and Vivian are present, how to be a perfect at her job. I like her already. The guys delivering food to the mansion were gawking at Sophia as if they've never seen a pretty girl before. I had to ask Sophia to go back to the house, otherwise someone might have funny ideas. Her uniform needs a little more cover. Uh-huh. 1973, Matthew sometimes comes over and checks to see if Sophia is doing okay. I tell him she, uh, he's worrying too much that Sophia is uh, loved by all. Matthew seems pleased every time I say this. Uh, if I didn't know better, I'd think that Matthew liked her. Okay. And then this is in 73 again. It rained heavily today. Sophia and I were having our tea break when she asked me, uh, what does it feel uh, What does it feel to be loved? I said, well, it's uh, like the feeling you get when you are with your parents. She was quiet for a moment and then replied, it's hard for me to imagine because I don't have parents. Oh, I didn't know what to say to her at that time. But after the break was over, I decided to make an effort to care for her more. So essentially, Sophia... Sophia was a maid here in 1973. In 1970, she was hired uh, in 72. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, some dates of interest. Um, Vivian and Charles married in 1971. And Trisha, I've got some dates here, was born in 1974. So... Interesting. Now, did I get everything? I think I did. Okay. All right, we got one more key. This is Trisha's room. All right. 
Now, Trisha's room is... Where is it? Oh, yes. It's uh, essentially out the door and then around the, the, uh, the gallery or the, op the, or, or the open area and then on the left. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. Did I screw that up? Oh, here it is. It's around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. Okay. And that is, uh, that's a different one. All right. Ooh. She had a very nice room. What a lovely room you had, Trisha. Okay, nothing here. Now, apparently, by the way, there's a secret room in this house. What's this? You can't, a room you can't get in. Okay. Um, nope, we can't waste any power in here. Uh, aha! Hang on a moment. Uh, doesn't work. Oh, dang it! Oh. So somewhere there's a key to that uh, bedside table. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh. That looks like a music box. Okay. Here's Trisha's diary. Oh, wow. We're getting a lot of... <laughs> 1988. So uh, if she was born in, in uh, 75, this 13. Scott's a very strange kid, very quiet. I don't think it's right for the other boys to bully him and call him names. I wonder why Scott's parent didn't want him. Uh, I don't... Uh, and this is in 89, a year later. I, I don't like after-school programs, especially ballet. It's difficult and boring, and I hate proper etiquette. What's wrong with being myself? I don't need to be like mom. Hmm. I haven't seen Dad for a while. I wonder when he'll be back. Every time I enter the study room, I can smell his tobacco smell. Oh. It's the perfect reminder of when, when he's gone for so long. I miss Dad. Mom's always working. She's so busy with other people that she has no time for me. Yeah, that's rough, kid. I tell you. That's, yeah. I, that, that, I, I, yeah, I hear you. Sometimes I wonder if Mom loves me. Maybe I should call Doth Dorothy Mother instead. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, success means hard work, and that means, uh, yeah, yeah. Study room code 44871. Uh-huh. Where's the study room? That is the question. Now, what have we got here? Ah! I was hoping that that key would work on there. All right. Well, let's see what we can find. Maybe there's something. Oh, these these should open. Okay. All right. What's down here? Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. And nothing and nothing. Okay. Nothing. Is there anything in a, in the on the floor underneath things or? I mean, we read her diary, but that's about it. So. Where is the study room? That's what I want to know. Where's the study room? Hmm. And where's the secret room? If there's a secret room in this house, where is it? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a poser. So there's there's this room right here. Oh. Oh, I see. That's a closet. That's like a walk-in closet probably right here and it's yeah, you can't get into it. I guess you're not supposed to be able to get into it. So the the list of things that we don't have access to is growing. I can't turn on that light. Okay. Um so we've I think we've checked everything in this room. Except Oh a cabin key. Oh, that's Scott's house. That's Scott's cabin key. Why didn't I see that before? Oh nice. Okay, 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 okay. 
Oh, 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 that's cool. That's cool. All right, so... I don't remember where anywhere there'd be a code. This is the tea room, right? There's stairs on the other side of the tea room going down. Security room. Then there's the uh, the maid or the, the uh, nanny's room. And we've already tried this. Okay. You know what? Let's try um, that one. No, it doesn't work. And that's the cabin key. All right. So we don't really know what... Hmm. That That's not a secret room, by the way. There's There's got to be a secret room in this house. I mean, where would it be? If I were a secret room... And then there's this room. Okay. Maybe it's downstairs? We don't have a map to the downstairs, do we? There's... Oh. That's not... Study room code 44871. This isn't the study room, is it? 44871. No, that's not enough. Not enough keys. Okay. I just thought I'd try. I thought I'd try. Is there a secret room in, from in here? Because this has the feel of having... A, like, what's behind this wall right here? Huh? Look. See that? What is that? What's over there? So if I go around here... Oh, it's the stairway. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm... Oh. <laughs> oh, this is the master bedroom. Wow. Oh, look at that hat. It's got... Uh, fibers in it. It's a lovely hat. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to see about it, but I guess I can look at the hat. And... Okay. Um... <laughs> it's a hat. All right, let's take a look. Oh, what is that? It's like, oh, is that like makeup? <gasps> a diary. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is from 1994. This is uh, Vivian's diary. Andrew came and told me he didn't uh, need an assistant. Okay. He said Scott is too inexperienced and is a burden to him. Really? Because it sounds like he's been cleaning your crap up for years. Uh, what he hasn't realized is that the garden has not been maintained well over the past few months, that his drunken behavior is irritating. And that Scott is actually do, doing more work than he is. That's right. Scott is a fast learner. He should be up to speed in no time. Charles was the one who insisted on hiring him anyways. Charles likes the boy. They've been hunting together quite a number of times. Charles always seems happy with his company. I just don't understand his love for hunt, hunting. He seems uh, he sometimes spends more time in his hunting cabin than he does at home. All right. I was shocked to learn that Scott has been asking around about Sophia. How did he know about Sophia? Who could have told him? It must be Andrew, that drunk. I told him Sophia is gone. Those hallucinations of his are getting worse. He needs to see Henry and get more pills. I need to have uh, Bernard keep an eye on Scott from now on. I'll try and see who he talks to, who he asks. Oh. Oh. I called Oliver and asked if he... This is in 94. This is a year before she was killed. I called Oliver and asked... That's the um, photographer. And asked if he could be the maid. Oh, <laughs> maid photographer for the Easter fundraising event. When he asked what the what the funds will be used for, I told him that be used to raise awareness for Payne's Creek to promote our town's tourism. After listening, he agreed to help. Uh, when asked how much he would charge, he simply said it would be free. I was surprised. I appreciate his contribution to the town. Hmm. Sounds like a nice guy. 
Uh, the deal with uh, Howard Medical came through just as I anticipated. Instead of being uh, happy, I feel empty. So this is a different company than before, right? Um, am I getting numb from work or is it that I don't care anymore? Uh, 94. Our dinner tonight was quiet. Charles didn't eat much. He asked about my day, but I didn't want to talk about it. As a matter of fact, I don't want to talk to him much these days. Uh, Trisha was silent as well. She's distanced herself from me. I can feel it. She used to confide in me about everything. Now we hardly talk. It's because you're working too much. Is stop is stopping her from seeing Scott wrong? Yes, it is. Of course it is. I don't, well, unless there's a reason. I don't want Trisha to be near Scott anymore. Of all the men in this, in this world, why would Trisha pick him? That is unacceptable. Yeah. There's been talk in the comments about the fact that maybe Trisha and Scott are related. And I wonder if that's true. Yeah. I wonder if uh, Charles knocked up Sophia and Sophia is Scott's mom. Yeah. That's my that's my I'm I'm wondering if that's the case. And that therefore uh Charles is Charles is Scott's son, a uh, dad, and Trish is uh Charles's daughter and their siblings, half siblings. Yeah, that's that's Yeah. Bad juju. Bad juju. Oh, a key. Oh, this is uh this is for a music box, I think, isn't it? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. All right. And nothing, nothing. What's this? Oh. This is um this is the private investigator's uh key. <gasps> oh, we've got the private PI's key. Oh my god, things are starting. We're getting information. Oh, there's so much going on. Oh, it's so exciting. It's like, oh, I was worried that, you know, we were running into dead ends. Um, it's not this one. Maybe this one? Oh, there's no lock. There's no lock. It's just... It's locked from the other side. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. All right. Let's be a bit more methodical here. Uh, this is a room we can't get into. Okay. All right. Let's take a look over here. We can't look in here. This is Charles's crap. And nothing here, nothing here. Okay. Nothing here. You know, actually, what I'm noticing is that there is not much uh, information about Charles. Now, presumably, he's still alive. Presumably, this is his house. Like, he doesn't live here anymore? What happened to Charles? Vivian's dead, but, but Trisha and Charles are still alive. Why don't they live here? Is it too painful? Is that what's going on? Is it, uh, you know? Okay. Um... I think we've wow, they've got too much to look at now. Um Okay, 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 okay. Let's go upstairs and let's check out the music box. Oh boy, you know there's so much in this episode. I don't even know what I'm going to call this. Um wait a minute. Yeah, this is it right here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't work. And wall clocks. Locking music and and wall clocks. Uh it's not that. It's not that. Okay. I'm just going to, for kicks, I'm going to try this. But that's not what it's for. Oh, it's Is it for the, in the tea room? Uh, is this the tea room here? Yeah, this is the tea room. There's a clock.
<laughs> Is this a red herring? Is the clock broken? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> it fits. Oh. I want to put it back to the time it was. This is a safe. If I set this to a certain time and turn the key, it's going to open. What time, though? I don't know. Um, no. Hmm. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Three twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Three twenty. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go to <laughs> This is from Henry Johnson in nineteen seventy five. Okay. I am writing to you as your doctor, but as a friend. I am not writing to you as a doctor, but as a friend. I know you had your sus suspicions about Charles. Now that his affair, oh my God, this is from 1975, is revealed, there is no point beating around the bush. If you were to protect yourself and Trisha, there is only one way. You have to make Sophia and the baby leave Charles. They, they need to be moved away from Payne's Creek. Uh, you will, of course, have to compensate for her leaving. As for Charles, he will need to know that having his affair... You know, the thing about doctors is that they have terrible handwriting. And this is no different case. Okay. Ha uh, as for Charles, he will need to know that having his affair publicly known will destroy his political status. People are not so forgiving when the mayor they trust is involved in such a scandal. I figure that Charles will try to add the child into the family registry. I would do the same if I were him. It is a boy, after all, and the child will be able to continue the family line. If that should happen, I cannot imagine what will happen to you. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, wow. Sophia and the baby. So Sophia had a baby with Charles. There we go. That that's the suspicion. Oh, wait a minute. Vivian, I have I have given careful thought to your request and here is my answer. I have provided a new prescription for your mother-in-law, Magdalene. It is 3 times the strength of her usual dosage. Detailed instructions will be sent uh, with the medicine. Should you decide to do it, you will need to administer the medicine carefully so one so no one suspects anything. Call me if you have any questions, Henry Johnson. P.S. Make sure no one else in the mansion uh, ingests any of it. Yeah, I kind of thought Vivian might have killed the mom. That all happened around the same time, 19, in, the, in the early 70s. All right. I think... Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. There's one more thing we're going to do. That's pretty bombshell information. But... Oh. Oh. I think that's a rendering problem. Okay, uh, let's not worry about that. <laughs> there's a, there's supposed to be a pool table over there. It's not currently there. All right, let's go outside, and we have access now to the shed. And I'm also supposed to be checking in the... Uh, there's a gate in the backyard. Oh, 
I think I looked over here too, didn't I? Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, okay. That looked like something interesting. But it back here. Oh! That is a, uh, that is not that, but I doubt it's this one too, but it's definitely locked. That's a modern key like this one. Yeah, so there is a gate back here. All right, good to know. I'll, I have, I'll need to find a key for that. Do, 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 do. Oh, my goodness. Okay, now, um, where was that? It was in... Uh, it was in Scott's diary. No. I wrote it down, though. I'm pretty sure I wrote it down. Uh, oh, right. It was in, it was in an item in Scott's safe. Right. Uh, and, and, uh, hang on, hang on. No. Um... Uh... There we go. Let's meet her a secret hideout at 5 p.m. Code change to 8831. Ah uh, uh, 8. Uh, 8831. Aha! Oh, don't. Okay. Oh. They got a little barbecue in here for, like, their barbecue parties. There's, like, drug paraphernalia. Why is there chess pieces here? Oh. One. The uh the whole way that you rotate things is really wonky. You spin it by going left and right and you move things in a certain axis by going So that's one. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Seven. Okay. Uh, can I delete that one? There we go. Now I have one seven. So there's some chess pieces. Those chess pieces are important. Oh, there's a key. That, that's Trisha's key to something. That's Oh, that's going to be her... Um, what you would call it? Uh, side table. Okay. Oh, it's Atricia's diary again. 93. I like being with Scott. Oh my God. This is going to get drippy. I can be myself in front of him. He doesn't judge me or tell me what to do. He cares about what I think. He makes me happy. Scott and I have decided to have our own secret hideout. It'll be really fun. Uh, mom won't know that we're secretly meeting. <laughs> I'm so glad that Scott is now working at the mansion. Although Andrew is his superior, it is a su supervisor is probably not the best idea. He's drunk all the time. I don't want him to influence Scott in a bad way. Um, this is two years before the mur Vivian's murder. Uh, Scott has to work in the garden the whole day. After that, he has some errands to do. I guess we won't be meeting today. I miss him already. Oh, my God. I wanted to learn photography, so Mom hired Oliver to be my tutor. At first, I thought he would be too old to teach. Plus, his techniques are probably too ancient. Not really. There's not... The techniques are the same. Uh, but when he came, uh, when he came, I was surprised that he was a very humble person. Despite our age differences, we talked for hours. I felt comfortable around him. Oh, sounds like a nice guy. Then he showed me the photos he took. They were beautiful. It was around this point that I figured out that Oliver is perfect as a tutor, that I shouldn't have been so quick to judge the old man. I gave, I'm glad Oliver is my teacher. Nice. Uh, 93. October. Uh, Scott has finally finished moving all the stuff to the cabin. Winter's coming. It'll be extremely cold in the cabin. The fireplace should help. Maybe I should knit a scarf for Scott. I, th I think I'll visit him today. Oh, and then we've got another key. This is uh, a mansion. That's the attic key. Oh, my God. There's so many things. Uh, is there anything in there? I can't see. Okay. I think, I think that's everything. Oh my god. So much stuff. Oh, okay. So, I think what I'm going to do is here. I think let's let's wrap it up right here. All right. So, 
the mansion has still many secrets to to give. We still have to go through the attic. I've got a new key, probably for the the side table. We got the key to the cabin. Uh, there's so much stuff. Um, may, lots of progress. So I think this is a good place to stop. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye bye.